Good day everyone! For today's lesson, we're going to study parts of a circle. For our learning objectives, identify the terms related to a circle. What do you mean by circle? Circle is a set of all points equidistant from a fixed point. So now, let's study the terms in the circle. Let's have this one. This is a circle. When you see a point at the middle of the circle, this is what we call the center. Well, this one, it is what we call the radius. Radius is a line segment from the center to any point of a circle. And this line is what we call the diameter. Diameter is the longest part in a circle whose endpoints are passing through the center point. While this one is what we call chord. A chord is a line segment formed by any two points on a circle. The arc between Point Q and S is what we call arc. So it is a curved line between two points on the circle. While this one, it is what we call the central angle. So angle QRS is what we call central angle. It is an angle formed by two radii. Let's talk about this one. The curved line between point Q and S is what we call arc. When we say arc, it is a curved line between two points on the circle. Well, this one, angle QRS is what we call central angle. It is an angle formed by two radii. Well, this one, Angle QRS is what we call inscribed angle. It is formed by two chords that have a common endpoint on the circle. Their common endpoint is point R. Now children, I want you to tell me what is the term of this point at the middle of the circle? Very good, that is the center. How about this one? What do we call this? Good job! This is the radius. How about this one? Very good children! This is the diameter. How about this? Good job! This is what we call chord. How about this one? What do you call to the curved line between point Q and S? Good job! This is an arc. How about this? What kind of angle do we have here? Very good! This is the central angle. How about this one? What kind of angle do you see? Good job! This is what we call inscribed angle. 